What's going on guys? It's Noah and I'm just checking in with you today. So today marks 10 months since I started testosterone replacement therapy. If you're wondering why I'm on testosterone replacement therapy, um, it is because I had a mental breakdown in May of 2011 and I was in a suicidal, horrible, severe major depression with anxiety and depersonalization. And, um, and I tried every treatment under the sun including a form of shock therapy for well over a year trying to get out of this suicidal depression with no success. Found out I had low testosterone about ten and a half months ago by a random blood draw where for some reason on a whim I just said test my testosterone and it turned out to be really low like 150 nanograms per deciliter and 200 nanograms per deciliter. The average 25 year old has 750 blah blah blah. So anyway that's why I started testosterone replacement therapy and I just watched I just watched my my first video that I ever did this is me putting my finger up saying this is day one and uh, holy shit I probably would have said fuck but oh well there I did um, <clears throat> in all seriousness though on all seriousness excuse me I mean it almost breaks my heart to watch this first video. Um, if anyone wonders if testosterone replacement therapy works, depends on what you're using it for, of course. But uh, for me, it was for just mental, emotional stability. I was in a very, very bad place. And you can hear it in my voice. I'm going to put a link in the description of this first video. I just think you guys should check it out and uh, get the comparison because it's crazy. It really is. Uh, it's crazy. My face is drawn because uh, I didn't have much of an appetite and I was absolutely still hopeless at that point. Suicidal still, horribly depressed, um, miserable pain, pain. That's all that was and uh, damn, come quite a distance since then. So I felt like, <clears throat> I felt like I haven't just had like a casual talk with you guys. By the way, how are you? You have no idea how much I wish that you guys could actually just answer right back. Um, I keep, oh that sounds creepy, but uh, I keep a little bit of tabs on the people that comment more. You know, I, I notice you. And of course I know when I get new subscribers. And we're coming up on 500 if we haven't gotten there already. And I'm not acting like 500 is anything crazy, but I feel blessed for that. You know, I think that's amazing. I'm glad you all are here. Um, you guys mean a lot to me and you're a big part of my life now. And um, I'm grateful for every single one of you. <clears throat> and I don't mean in, in any like, I don't have any motive behind that, I'm just glad you're there. And I appreciate your comments, your messages, and I hope that, that these videos can be of some service to you and they've been of some use. That's what it's all about. What can I share with you guys? Um, hmm. I'd say that uh, I think you know, I think I'm probably more stable now, 10 months in, than I was 9 months in. And uh, I was more stable 9 months in than 8 months in, and so on and so forth. And I think that's really, it's incredible. And I am, I'm so freaking grateful for it. So, things are doing well. Um, do I think I'm 100%? No. But... Do I think that I'm as close as I've ever been to just being as recovered as it's going to get, you know, and having my life back, having anxiety, depersonalization, major depression gone? Yeah, as close as I've ever been, and I can't believe it. And, uh, and for anyone watching who is not yet there, but in the beginning of their journey are wondering what's going on, why can't I get better, I don't necessarily know exactly why you guys watch, or, you know, because now there's a relatively large amount of you, um, and so I don't know the specific needs of each person. I wish I did. That sounds neurotic, but I wish I did. I wish I could be so focused in what I'm doing that it would, I knew, I just knew I was covering everyone to a point. You know, you can't please everyone, but anyway, that's my nature, I suppose. Um... Ooh, don't lose that train of thought. Or is it already gone? Yeah, I think it might be gone. I think I was saying something along the lines of uh, hang in there, hang tight if you're in the beginning of your treatment. A lot of people reach out, they want advice, and they just want to see what my perspective is on dot, 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 a lot of different issues. But the most important thing that I could even tell you guys is just to hang in there because early on, it's just kind of about grinding it out. Um, 
And if you've been grinding it out for a long time, you're probably saying, fuck grinding it out. I'm tired of grinding it out, depending on what your condition is and what you're going through. But keep being brave, keep being strong, push through. The beginning of my treatment was a lot harder than it is now. And I'm actually quite functional now, and, I, and I'm pretty active in my life. And, and I have a life again, and it's the weirdest thing, because I didn't have a life for... 15 months, 18 months, I mean just forever, it felt like forever, um, I'm slowly getting one. So hold on, right, now I'm, I'm giving advice again instead of talking about myself, which is the goal of this video. Oh, and I don't care if this one runs long, I just don't care if this one runs long at all. So this one might run long, but we're just gonna let it roll and see what happens. Um, 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 come on, no, no. What do I want to tell you guys? What do I want to share? What's relevant? I'm gonna be doing some videos on, uh, just less serious stuff coming up here. I've probably said that before, but I want to do some videos on like strength gains, other physical stuff, just stuff that's just more like, now that I'm mentally more stable, I'm kind of like into it a little bit or I think about. So I want to do some more videos on that. Um, I've decided to go back to one shot a week, the two shots per week at the lower dose to, to help with the acne on my shoulders, which is the one side effect that's just beating me up. The one side effect that is beating me up anyway. Whatever, I, I'm not doing twice a week. It didn't make a difference. It's much more convenient to do once a week. So I'm doing, um, I'm doing 0.8 milligrams um, per week, 0.8 ml. Yeah, 160 milligrams, 0.8 ml. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, Mood-wise, I'm, I'm doing well. Like I said, uh, still dealing with some anxiety in my chest. That's probably like the one thing that lingers the most. Is anxiety kind of kicks it in my chest, and I feel a little tightness, but. It's going all right. It's all better than it was, and that's all it takes for me to have some measure of peace. So, um, what's new in my life? I might be moving out in the next couple months uh, from my parents' house, and that's crazy. I moved back here, um, you know, a few months into my major depressive episode, into my mental breakdown, and I never thought I'd leave again. I was pretty certain I was going to die in this house that I grew up in. I thought I was coming home to to die. And um, it's really strange thinking that uh, in the next couple months I'm going to be moving out with my girlfriend Jessie again. Um, but it really feels like the first time because uh, her and I have been together for God, a couple, two, three years, two and a half years-ish. Yeah. And then um, we decided to move out together into our own place, just the two of us. And then I had my mental breakdown a week before we moved out. And so we never got a chance. And I never thought I'd get a chance again. And it looks like we're going to do that. And that's, that's hard, you know. Um, it's exciting, but it's hard because I have been so fragile for so long that I, don't, I almost can't believe that I'm stable enough to where I might leave my parents' house. You know, this is my safety. Um, they have nursed me back to health. And I'm a grown man. I'm 26, and I understand that. I mean, even though I never believed it would be possible, I am well enough to live on my own, I believe, with my girlfriend, uh, Jessie, of four and a half years, my, my baby. And, um, and that's big. I'm trying not to have, I'm trying not to overthink it. And I'm just trying to remember that I'm not going to be that far away from home. And I don't know if it sounds kind of silly to me say I'm afraid to leave home, but um, when you, as sick as I was, and as desperate as I was, and as scared as I was, it's just, uh, I've gotten better here, and um, of course I've done millions of things to get better, to try to get better. I believe the biggest trick was the testosterone, but it's just scary. I guess this is my rambling video, but I just wanted to come clean about that fear, and that I'm going to try to swallow it, and be an adult about it, and be mature, and uh, lean on you guys for support, because you guys are great, and I know you'll be supportive. And otherwise, yeah, so two months I'm going to move out, and try to just get even more stable before then. Keep getting my shit together as much as I can. Um, otherwise, God, I wish I was a little more focused uh, on this one. Um, I'm trying to, to do more videos. I wish I did more videos. I'm sorry that I don't do more. I promise I'll always be here though. I can make that promise. I will never leave you guys. Um, whoever you all are, because I mean, of course I don't know all of you and I'm getting to know some of you who write me and I try to write back to everyone, but um, I want to do more videos. I want to be more on top of the the day to day grinds that I do go through and what still is a struggle and what's not a struggle, and like more specifics. But um, 
it's just like we're all busy and I'm trying to work it out so that I can have enough time to do these and, and edit them and stuff like that. Basically, steady as she goes. I guess I don't need to ramble anymore because it's turning into one of my most... Yeah, this is probably the most prolific ramble I've ever had. So I'll probably wrap it up there. I did have a minor crash in mood for about four days, and I would say that begun a week, two weeks ago, and I don't know where it came from, and it scared me, and it upset me, and I probably, it was the worst I'd done in a stretch, and it happens, and so that'd be worth noting. I don't know why the frack I didn't bring that up first. A week and a half, two weeks ago, I had a rougher time. And that's going to happen, and I know that, and I knew that when I felt, oh my god, my depersonalization felt a little bit worse, my anxiety felt a little bit worse, and my depression felt a little bit worse, and I got scared, because every time I start feeling a little worse, I immediately go to the conclusion, or I come to the conclusion that I am going back, I'm going back to that place that I barely survived, and it freaks me out, and I have to do a lot of positive self-talk and a lot of just checking myself. And so I know that uh, feeling hopeless, even in small doses, can lead to uh, a lot more. So I held it together. I spoke with a few people, got some support. Hey, I don't know why, but suddenly I'm doing worse for a few days. I tried not to make any big conclusions, and I guess with that experience, I might I might suggest that you guys try to do the same. Uh, getting better on testosterone has not been, I've said this before, it's not like linear. It hasn't just been like this. I mean, it, it does this. It, Literally goes a few steps forward, a couple steps back, a few steps forward, a few steps back, a couple steps forward, one step back. It's just the way it's been. Although I will say, the longer I've been on testosterone, the longer the stretches of being stable and, and feeling better and, you know, slowly the symptoms are going away and then they'll flare up. And then, but then the, the stretch is, again, shorter for the bad parts, longer for the more stable ones, and it's a miracle. And, and uh, I'm just trying to... Appreciate that and then hold it together when I struggle a little bit. So when you have your hiccups, and you will, don't uh, don't overthink it. I want to do a video on ca catastrophizing and just having catastrophic thinking, but that won't be for this one. So anyway, I had a little bump, held it together, still, still kick in, we're all right. And I'm going to wrap it up right there. Um, I'll try to do another one of these at the year marker, which is two months from now. This will pro That's probably the longest video I may do ever. <laughs> I don't know what the time is, but it's got to be something crazy. So if you're still here... Let's pound it, because that's impressive, because this was a long one. Um, otherwise, I do hope you guys are doing all right, and, uh, and for as many of you as I can keep on the tip of my, that's not the expression, tip of my brain, but for as many of you as I can keep right on the, the front of my brain, I'm thinking about you, I am putting out good energy, as hippie as that sounds, and, uh, and I'm holding you accountable to the notion that you're going to be okay, and I expect that you guys believe me, okay? I hold that expectation of you, that you believe that if I can get better, if this fucking poor guy right here can can get as stable as I've gotten, so can you. I don't care how long you've been suffering. You're going to you're going to be okay, and we're going to see through it. Um, that's really what this is all about: is the ones that are really doing bad, and for the guys that are just more doing all right, or or their issues aren't as severe. You matter too, and and as mild as symptoms might be. We want to get everyone as well as we can get, I and mean, that's what we're all here for. Um, and for the random ladies that are that are subscribed, um, try to do more content like that might be helpful to you. Yeah, gotta work on that more. Anyway, all right, I'm out. Um, it's been a long check-in. I'm making it longer with every word. I'll do another video soon. Take good care, guys. Hang in there if you're struggling. Be grateful if you're not, and we'll talk soon.